morning, darling. Good morning. <laughs> You're not darling. I know, but I'm attractive. <laughs> what are you doing? What else, Mr. Hollister? My life's work, fixing your front door. I've planed the door jam down a bit so the door won't stick anymore. It's fixed. Want to bet? Mr. Hollister, mark my words. This door will never stick again. <laughs> Very good, Andrew. Well, I suspect I planed it down a tad too much. <laughs> Mr. Hollister, I'll have you a new door jam first thing in the morning. Not first thing in the morning. Now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta get to... <laughs> I gotta get to work. What do you want for breakfast? Oh, something quick. Like what? Nothing. It won't take long. I'll grab a cup of coffee at work. My new assistant, the background man, starts today. I want to be there when the background man starts so I can show the new background man what to do. Sounds like you've got a new background man. What's his name? Uh, 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 Paula, I think you'll agree that the most important requirement for a new assistant is artistic skill backed by experience. Your new background man is a woman. Ah, uh, yes, yes, he is. What's the difference if he's a man or a woman as long as she's qualified? Your new background man is pretty. Now, uh, Paula, finding a new background man isn't easy. I think you'll agree with that. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> what is this girl's name? Rosemary Wallace. Rosemary? Gee, I've never known a Rosemary who didn't have beautiful legs. Paula, just because the name is Rosemary doesn't mean she has beautiful legs. D does she? Yes. <laughs> Dick, I know you. You like women with beautiful legs. Paula, this is ridiculous. I hired her because she's competent and efficient and well qualified for the leg. Job. <laughs> If she's well qualified. That's all that counts. Right, that's all that counts. As long as she has the qualifications, what difference does it make if she's a background girl or a background man? Just as long as she's qualified. Oh, that's more like you. How long does it take us to get to your office? If we go by subway or if we walk or walk? <laughs> Rosemary, you must remember to put the cap back on the ink bottle when you finish your scene. I remember you told me that, Mr. Hollister. Um, where's the cap? Oh, it doesn't make any difference. Just use any cap that fits. There it is. Here's the cap. Oh, 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 don't, oh, oh. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mr. Hollister. It's okay. Just wait, don't, don't, there. Here, I'll fix it. It's okay now. There. Why did I use your good handkerchief? Because you wanted it to match my shirt. Sorry. Ah, now my jacket matches my shirt. There we are. Oh, God. This rag is dirty red. I don't mean red is dirty. The rag is dirty. Yeah. Red is actually one of my favorite colors. Uh, if you put it together with blue, you get purple. Did you know that? Uh, no, but I do now. Do you have another paint rag? Oh, yes, I'm wearing it. Mr. Hollister, I'm terribly sorry. It must be first day jitters. Well, Just having you in the same room watching me draw makes me kind of nervous. Well, you must have had people watch you draw before. No, I haven't. Not even in art school? <laughs> you mean to tell me that in five years of studying art, no one once ever watched you draw? Where'd you study? Be an artist. What? Be an artist. <coughs> Be an artist? Where's that? Uh, post office box 95775, Cincinnati, Ohio, zip code 45201. Be an artist. Be an artist. Be an artist. Be an artist, the ad in the back of the magazines. Learn to draw, make big money. You, you, you took a correspondence course. They didn't have an art school in Lucasville, and I couldn't afford to go to Cincinnati. And even if I could have gone to Cincinnati, it wouldn't have made any difference, because they don't have an art school there, either. <laughs> Well, look, I can't work like this. I'm going to see if I can't borrow a shirt. Uh, Rosemary, while I'm at it, I'll take those panels that you were working on. Did you finish gluing them? They were still wet, so I put them on your desk to dry. Oh. I don't see them. Well, they were there. They must have fallen on the floor. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, 
Yes, that's just what happened to them. They fell on the floor. Well, I'll just shush right down to the art department. <laughs> I wonder how things will go for me in the executive washroom. <laughs> Hello, Richard. I... Well, you're not Richard. I'm Rosemary. That's a much better name for you. If you're looking for Mr. Hollister, he'll be back here in a few minutes. Doesn't give us much time then, does it, my little condiment? <laughs> should know you. Yes, you should. Your face is so familiar. Try television. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a TV set. <laughs> then turn around and look at the wall. Am I being punished? <laughs> no, 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 my dear. That picture. That dashing chap in the Jetman Ensemble. You're the man who posed for the picture of Jetman. No, 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 I am Jetman. <laughs> Paul Newman is HUD. Oscar North is Jetman. <laughs> What are you doing tonight? Nothing. Good. Jetman is on at 7.30. Be sure and watch it. Forgive me for not recognizing you, Mr. North. It's my first day. Yes. I don't mean in recognizing. I mean on the job. <laughs> well, it's rather refreshing to walk into a room for a change and not be besieged by adoring fans clamoring for my autograph, my photograph, a lock of my hair. Here. Yeah. A lock of my hair. Thank you. Well, actually, it's not my hair. We get it from Hong Kong. Well, I'd better get back to work. Yes. We're both going to be busy tonight watching my show. What about tomorrow night? How about having dinner? Well, I don't know. Gee, you're an awfully big star. You must be awfully busy. Uh, I know, I know. That's what everybody thinks. But it's a fallacy. Greatness is lonely work. <laughs> Greater you are, the lonelier you are. <laughs> Hello, Oscar. Hi, Richard. So you met Rosemary? Yes. Yeah. Rosemary, would you go down to the supply room and get some more paint and ink? We seem to be running very low. Yes, I've noticed that, Mr. Hollister, right away. Gee, it was awfully nice to meet you, Mr. North. That's your reward for being so attractive, my dear. <laughs> She's charming, charming. I'm taking her to dinner tomorrow night. Oscar, this She's something... warm, sensitive, unselfish. Also, she's new in town. I think she'll go Dutch. <laughs> Oscar, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire her. You're going to fire her? Well, you can't do that. You'll ruin my evening. <laughs> Oscar, this may come as some kind of a shock to you, but my job is a little bit more important to me than you becoming the prince of Fun City. I know, Richard, but you can't fire somebody on their first day with... Do you remember two years ago when I started the Jetman television series? Do you remember how terrible I was? But now look at me. <laughs> oh, come on, Richard. Give her a chance. Give her a month. Give her a week. <laughs> Give her a notice. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. North. It's all right, it's all right, my dear. It's not my suit anyway, I lease it. Well, see you at the cleaners, Richard. I have to go back to the supply room. Uh, Rosemary, before you do, I'd like to talk to you for just a moment. Oh, yes, Mr. Hollister, I'd like that. I had something all prepared to say to you today that I couldn't say because, well, because of everything that happened today, but maybe I can say it anyway. What I wanted to say was thank you very much for hiring me, Mr. Hollister. I was so excited last night I couldn't even sleep. I mean, golly, a person like me coming from Lucasville. Golly. Anyway, thank you. Gee... Now I can even pay my rent. Oh, I forgot. You wanted to say something to me. Keep up the good work. Hiya, Dick. Hi, Harry. What do you want me to say, Paula? Right there, be oh. fine. With pleasure. 
You think it would be more comfortable if we switch seats? Good idea. Come on. This one's for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Mm. Ah. Well, how'd it go this afternoon with your new background man, Dick? It was a disaster. I can't think of anyone less qualified for that job. And so you're going to fire her? Oh, no. I'm going to give her another chance. Mm. Well, uh, I know you're probably wondering why I'm going to give her another chance. Me? I thought Harry asked the question. No, I want you to come and have lunch with me tomorrow so you can meet Rosemary. I don't want to meet Rosemary. i got to get the casserole. Mm -mm. No, you said I'll go. Thank you, Harry. Now, I insist that you meet me tomorrow because I want your mind to be completely at ease. Honey, I was just kidding this morning when I was acting jealous. Honey, I want you to be there all tomorrow. All right, all right. I'll meet you for lunch tomorrow. That's my little girl. I don't know. Let's watch the late news tonight and find out. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. I'm sorry I'm late. Any calls? Your wife. She said she'd be here in a few minutes. Oh. Rosemary, would you come here a moment, please? Certainly, Mr. Hollister. Rosemary, I'd like you to take these paddles and check. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You're wearing a mini skirt. Mr. Hollister, I couldn't wear the dress I wore yesterday because it was covered with paint. And I had to buy a new one. And ordinarily, I would never, ever, ever buy a mini skirt, except that when I tried this on, the zipper got stuck, and I was so embarrassed I bought it. I didn't want the store not to like me. <laughs> All right, all right. Go home and change. Put something else I on. I don't have anything else. My luggage got lost. Come in. Ha, ha. <laughs> ha, ha. Come in, darling. Scrunch down. Scrunch down. No good. Scrunching is no good. Uh, uh, sit behind the desk and stay there. Stay there. Paula, I'd like to leave Rosemary alone. With uh, the dress, and then the uh, the ink, and then well, the stain, and then uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the uh, zipper got stuck, and then uh, <laughs> and then they would have hated her in the store. Uh, so there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Yes, it is. Now? I can't. I can't. All right, all right. I have to go up to McCready's office. Rosemary, could I have those panels you're working on? Certainly, Mr. Hollister. Thank you. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Get to know each other. <laughs> Mrs. Hollister, uh, what your husband was trying to say was that I spilled ink on my dress yesterday, and this is the only thing I had left to wear. Don't spill any ink on that one, or he won't be coming to work tomorrow. I'll try. No, I, I better not try. That's what I've been doing wrong. I think I've been trying too hard. Mrs. Hollister, those drawings your husband took, well, they're not my work at all. I'm much better than that. Honestly, I am. Look, look. Now, this is my work when I'm not nervous. Well, these are excellent. They're really very, very good, Rosemary. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. I hope Mr. McCready likes them. You don't have anything to worry about. Really. Gee, you just have to learn to relax. Yeah, relax. That's what I should do. Maybe if I had lunch. Good idea. I'll go get a couple hamburgers. Mm. Well, Paula, you don't have to worry about Rosemary anymore. McCready just ordered me to fire her. You fire her? I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> what, what, what happened here? I think I know why you're having trouble sleeping. I know why I'm having trouble sleeping. You keep waking me up. You're feeling badly about having to fire Rosemary. Yes, I do. But McCready is the art director and he wants me to fire her. Now, I got a terrible task ahead of me in the morning. I'd like to get some sleep. Sleep? How can you sleep at a time like this? It's 3.30 at this 
about time to sleep. <laughs> hey, now you won't look loud enough. Here you are, sleeping while poor Rosemary is probably tossing and turning. Why should she be tossing and turning? She doesn't know she's going to be fired. And she must live in Chicago. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What are you doing? I figured as long as I'm up, I'll shave now, and then I'll be able to sleep later in the morning. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Well, I figured as long as you're up, I'll fix breakfast, and you'll be able to sleep even later, later in the morning. I don't want to fire Rosemary. I told you, I don't have the heart for it. You sure got the mouth for it. <laughs> Keep quiet, McLaughlin. You're waking up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Tell her what? I, I know, I know. I'll, I'll ease into it. Uh, <clears throat> Rosemary, that's a, uh, it's a beautiful dress you're wearing. Thank you. You're fired. Here it is, Mr. Hollister. Uh, Rosemary, would you sit down for a second? Yes. Sir. Rosemary, that's a beautiful dress you're wearing. Do you really like it? Thank you. Uh, Rosemary, as you know, cartoonists have to meet certain deadlines and they can't afford to get behind schedule. Mr. Hollister, do you really like my dress? Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Mr. Hollister, this is as hard for you as it is for me, so why don't I just save you the trouble and, and say I quit? Rosemary. No, no, please. This, this is the way it has to be, Mr. Hollister. I didn't do a job for you, but at least I can quit gracefully. <laughs> I can't even do that right. Um, um, let me get this. No, no, you're not going to quit. And I'm not going to fire you. No, sir. These are proof you can draw. And you're going to sit right down here and do it. You're going to sit here and work. And you're going to work no matter who's watching you, no matter how much pressure is on you. You're going to work, work, work. Mr. McCready, I'm not going to fire Rosemary Wallace. You can come down here and see for yourself. She can handle this job. You can take my word for it. Right. He's coming down to see for himself. Uh, he's not going to take my word for it. <laughs> Brush is ready. Here's Oscar. Oscar, what happened to you? Rosemary and I went out last night. <laughs> Bowling is not one of her talents. Oscar, will you please leave? She has work to do. All right. Good luck, Pigeon. Oh, you can do it. You know why? Because you've got talent. And I know talent. And you're loaded. I believe in you and Dick believes in you. Now you've got to believe in you. You've got to keep thinking Rosemary. 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 R O S. Why, Rosemary, Rosemary, Ra, 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 Rosemary, Rosemary, Ra, 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 you're a grand old. All right, all right, come on, sit down here. <laughs> now look, when McCready gets here, just keep cool. He's a pacer and a walker and a looker. But he won't say a word. So just walk back and forth, look over your shoulder, and not say anything. But you keep painting. Okay? Right.
I'm so sorry, Mr. McCready. You must forgive her. She's so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Wallace, pack your things. But she's good. She's really good. Yeah. Too good to be a background man. Miss Wallace, I want you to report to my office on the 14th floor. I've got a new job for you. Thank you, Mr. McCready. Only I want to just work for Mr. Hollister. Oh, it's okay, Rosemary. You go. Go ahead. Go right on up to the 14th floor. I'll write you. <laughs> what is she going to do? Among other things, approve the artwork on your comic strip. Dinner's almost ready. What are you doing? What are uh, those? I have to work late tonight. Till I get a new background, man. I'm going to have to finish these Jetman panels myself. Oh, that doesn't really look very hard, you know. What do you do? Oh, I see. I see. You just go around the figure. You fill in the background. Let me try it. Here. <laughs> Dick, I've got a great idea. I've got a terrific idea. You can let me go down to the office tomorrow and see what I can do as your background man. <laughs> yeah, I won a prize one time. Fantastic. Got a little Mickey Mouse with big pink ears. <laughs> Mr. McCready, this is Dick Hollister. Listen, uh, could you use another girl on the 14th floor? <laughs> One hour from now, Judge Garth falls for the beautiful defendant in a murder case on the Virginian part of USA's Sunday Showdown. Now, stay tuned as Roddy McDowell guest stars on the Alfred Hitchcock Hour, next on USA.